Vancouver. It is regularly rated as one of the most livable cities in the world. And look around, it's no surprise, it's absolutely stunning here. Ringed by snow-capped mountains in the winter which brings snowmobiling, snowshoeing, skiing, snowboarding, sledding. And in the summertime you have miles of beaches which brings all of the deliciousness that summertime beaches bring. Boys in speedos, girls in bikinis. Suffice it to say, barflies are not the only type of gay that you'll find in Vancouver. Life in general in Vancouver is is pretty incredible. There's a really great quality of life. It's it's not necessarily about being gay. Like the gay culture has just kind of made its way into mainstream culture here, so you can just be in a really relaxed and healthy way, which is good. There's tons of outdoor activities. They're endless. With the mountains and the ocean, if you're here in the summer, you can go to the beach, and in the same day you can climb a mountain. Uh, it's pretty incredible for all of that. There's all the sports you can imagine, uh, from boating to fishing to cycling. So for the outdoorsy gay, this is definitely a place to go. There's nature everywhere! Yes! Indeed, on a sunny day, it feels like the entire city is out of doors. Duckies! And other people's children and dogs! With 1,000 acres of explorable terrain, thousands of people descend on Stanley Park walking, running, biking, blading, and generally enjoying some of the best quality of life in the world. Plenty of more opportunities to get outside lie right across Vancouver Harbor, such as the 4,000-foot-tall Grouse Mountain. And would you believe we are only 30 minutes from downtown Vancouver? I wouldn't. At the summit of Grouse sits the Eye of the Wind, a first-of-its-kind pod that hangs from a giant wind turbine and rotates along with the prevailing winds. Neat! And then for the others who like to eat, uh, Vancouver's a food city. It has one of the top food scenes globally, in my humble opinion. We've got such a beautiful melding of East and West Coast cooking techniques that come from all over the planet. We've got a huge Indian population, a huge Asian population, and then all of that is kind of Canadian culinary traditions as well. With every new restaurant opening, the industry kind of elevates itself, so you literally have everything to choose from. You can make your way through the crazy weekend crowds and avoid the seagulls circling overhead to eat your catch. The Granville Public Market is a place to come to get a bunch of tasty treats, locals, tourists alike, and a lot of gays will be filling up with uh, things like this spinach stuffed bagel. Mm. You have just enough city and just enough freedom and relaxation at the same time. Baby, every single night, baby, every single night.